All right, guys, welcome back to part six of my PVC um, series. <clears throat> this is going to be, as you can see, I have a little trailer here, my John boat. Now, the places that I've been going, I've been able to pull it off the truck, slide it into the lakes or ponds, but I have been in places where I have to take it maybe a block or two and that's what, where this comes in. This is made out of one and a half inch PVC all the way around and I got a rod that goes through the, the axle itself with the threaded rod. It's a quarter inch threaded rod and then I have these wheels with two bolts on the end and <clears throat> each end and See, it glides nice and smooth, and I got these tie downs here, so I can put it around. I really only need one, but I got two there just in case. Now, this is not something you drag behind your vehicle. I just want to get that clear now before everybody starts commenting about stuff like that. This is strictly to go from here to the front yard to put it on my truck. Then I take it off, slide it in, put this inside the boat. I know it's a lot of hassle doing it, but I'm getting a little up there in age, so getting a little too heavy for me to just slide around by myself with a 60 or 70 pound battery in there for my trolling motor and all. So once I get it to the lake, I take it out, take this, pull it all the way as far out as far as I can, place it on it, and just like anything else, like as you can see the shape of it's longer from when it hits this, it automatically levels out. Strap it down, I pull it to the lake, undo it, tie my lake to the dock or wherever or something on shore, put this back in my truck and I'm good to fish the rest of the day. And then when I'm done, I just reverse it, go get it and put it back on it, but it beats trying to carry this thing especially even, even though it's got handles in the front like that and two handles in the back. Even if I'm with my either one of my sons, it doesn't matter what end they get, we both get tired carrying it. I'm sure anybody who's at a John boat and they carrying it knows it gets a little heavy and you gotta rest a couple times. But anyway, I'm gonna un unsecure the boat from the ties on the uh, little dock thing I made there. Put it on here and I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm not going to strap it to it. I'm just going to sit it on it and uh, probably do a little circle here for you. So hold on for that. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put the, the how I made it in the at the end of the video like I do all the other ones. And uh, stick around for that. Let me untie that boat. All right, guys. The boat is off, and I want to sit it on here and. It should level itself out, like I said. So let me pick this up. Straighten it out a little bit. And that's pretty much what it does. Of course, when I tie it down, it's not gonna go nowhere. So I'm gonna lift the front up. And see how it's rolling. That's about how I get it to the lake. And you know, if, if it's a shorter distance, then we'll carry it. But if it's anywhere, we're gonna, as you can tell, I'm probably a little out of breath now. It's because I haven't been doing much from being out on medical from surgery from a knee. But uh, once I get a little bit back in shape, I won't be breathing as hard. But this is how this works. And matter of fact, after I get done this, I think I'm gonna give you a little tour of this boat. As you can see, it's not a little, it's not a normal John boat. So look for the in the description, not in the description, at the end of the video, what kind of pipe and all you need. And feel free to build one, but remember, it's not a street, a street um, 
cart strictly to transport not to be drugged behind a car or a truck that would fall apart in like three blocks probably not to mention it's not street legal but yeah that's how I that's how I get it to the lake guys hope you like this video I mean I'm just trying to put little things out there to keep the channel going while I'm out of medical and as soon as I get the clearance from the doctor to go fishing I'm gonna be out there I want to try to hit it hit it hard because I don't have much of the summer left I know it's only what the end almost the end of May but it'll go like that so I'm just trying to keep myself a little bit busy with these little PVC DIYs but I still have one two still have about three or four left and I'm saving the best one for last at least my favorite one so that one will be cool you got to stick around for that one I think this one this one's part six I think it is so I think it, like I said I think I got three or four more I think but keep an eye out for them all right thanks guys